your in this video we will start with the contrasting characters of pea plant used by mendel so this is the table which will show you the contrasting character dominant character recessive character and the chromosome number present in which these characters are present on the pea plant same uh, so first character is stem high so dominant character is tall and dwarf this is present on the chromosome number 4 then the second character is flower color the violet color is dominant over the white and this character is present on the chromosome number 1 then the flower position dominant flower position is axial and recessive is terminal that is 4 present on the fourth chromosome then the pod shape that is inflated and constricted which is present on the uh, chromosome number 4 again then the pod color that is green and yellow so this is present on the fifth number of chromosome then the seed shape that is dominant is round and wrinkle mm, wrinkle so round seed shape is dominant over the wrinkle seed shape present on the chromosome number 7 then the silk color that is yellow seed color is dominant over the green seed color So next, so these are the some pictures uh, about dominant and recessive character. So as you can see, in the dominant, the seed shape is round, and when you see the right picture, in they are the wrinkles. So they are some wrinkles on the shade or constricted. Uh, then the seed color. Let's see, uh, yellow seed. Yellow seed is dominant over the green seed. Then you can see the pod shape inflated and constricted. So inflated is uh, dominant over the constricted. Then fourth, uh, you can see the pod color. The green is dominant over the yellow so pod color. Then flower position as we earlier say the axial flower position is dominant over the terminal so in the axial you can see the flowers are present on the branches uh, by the side and then the terminal and the flowers are present on the top top of the branch then the color of the flower that is violet is dominant over the white so you can see in the left picture is a purple flower or the violet is dominant over the white color flower. Then the stem height, stem height is dominant and the recessive. So tall is dominant uh, on the dwarf plant. So this is the uh, in the in your left all. Uh, the dominant characters are present in the right side all the short sorry all the recessive characters are the present then we will see the reasons for the Mendel's success the first point is, is experiment had large sampling size so experiment has large sampling size means they he have a, you can uh, you see in the first video that he presented 30,000 pea plants in the conference process. So, he have the large sampling size over there. Then the he could confirm his inferences from the several generation of plants. As we see, the lifespan of the pea plant is short. So, he, he could experiment on the several generation and can present the results from the same generation to us. Then Mendel could present his work in the form of mathematical formula. So you can, so you can see when Mendel uh, will give you the monohybrid cross ratio of that monohybrid cross, phenotypic ratio, genotypic ratio, various crosses Mendel did. So Mendel present this crosses or this experiment in the mathematical formula in the mathematical ratios. Then fourth point is Mendel work with pure lines. So, metal work with pure lines means pure lines is homozygous. So, he is working 
he worked on the homozygous plants. Hope this is it. Thank you.